a lot of a lot of guys who I'm sorry, a lot of guys who've had the growth spurt that you have. Really, you know, my knees hurt, my joints hurt. Have you had any of that? No, I haven't. And how much have you grown in the last seven? Seven, seven? In the last year, yeah, seven. Mm -hmm. yeah, the last how does life? Uh, how is life different for you, Anthony? Uh, seven inches taller. It, it helps a lot, you know. Make the game a lot easier, you know. Easy to grab rebounds now. Easy, you know. Shoot the ball now. You to put the, you know, grab the ball, rebound, put it back. So it makes it a lot easier since I'm more, uh, taller than most players. If you had to develop a different mentality, I mean, do you still think of yourself as kind of that guard, you know, build that you had, or uh, are you a big man? So I can say myself, you know, small four in between, you know. Because, you know, since my height, you know, I'm going to have to be a big man. But as my skills, you know, I still can use that guard mentality to, you know, get past my defender or whatever the case may be. What's been the toughest challenge for you growing that much in a year? Not just basketball, but anything. I mean, is, it, is it just finding the right shoes to wear? Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of shoes don't have my size, so I have to, I mean, yeah, a lot of shoes don't have my size, so I have to order them offline or, you know, something like that. And also clothes, you know, I, how I time for clothes, you know, you know, being this tall. What size shoe do you wear? 17. What did you wear a year ago? Uh, a year ago I wore like a 14, 13, 14. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did you have like a, a favorite item of clothing or something you had to get rid of? No, uh, whatever I wear. I, you know, I, I usually wear jogging pants now because they're the biggest thing. So, you know, but if I can find some jeans in my size, I'll try to get them. What is life like, not basketball, but life like for you? As a taller guy now, yeah, I mean, is I mean, it? You know, wherever I go, is always people looking at me. You know, look twice, like, oh my God, he's tall. I was asking how tall I am, you know, and everything like that. And what school I go to, and all that. So I mean, it's just, it's just great. What do the colleges? Uh, what do they say to you about how they think you could fit in? What they think you need to improve on? As they uh, told me, I need to improve on my dribbling. You know, since I'm be on the wing. I need to, you know, improve my dribbling and get to the basket. Uh, they say they need me, you know, like I said before, stretch the defense with my shooting and uh, grab a lot of rebounds offensively and defensively. When, uh, w how do you see this process unfolding recruiting-wise? I mean, are you going to be visiting schools? Yeah, I'm going to visit, visit my top three, so I make a decision there. And if I, you know, visit my top three and I don't like one because, you know, how the school is or whatever like that, I might try to, you know, reconsider some other schools and see how everything is. After you visit the top three. Right. Do you have any of those set up already? Uh, no. Do you know when? No, I'm not sure when I want to visit, but I definitely want to take visits down to the three schools. Besides the, the playing style that you mentioned, what are some things about Kentucky that have kind of captured your attention? Uh, Coach Kyle, you know, he's a great, you know, great coach. You know, in a previous draft, you know, 2010 draft, they had five, five of their players go to the draft, so they're really, really eye catching, you know, to be have five players go to the draft. And that's just one of my goals to go to the draft. So, well, not just go to the draft, but go to the league. You know, so, I mean, that, that's, that's very amazing. Did you